be ready to march out and clear some things nearby a bit. Oh, theft corrupts life. New mission. All right, we'll accept it. Is this, oh, no, it's still adjacent over here. So, yeah, claiming that would be unhappy making, but maybe we can grab Island Beach. Oh, I bet these these guys. That's what's going on. Yeah, I see. More anomalies. More prospecting. Uh, Tomb of Petra can annex another sector. I mean, we know we're going to want this one because of the Imperial Mining Facility. Even though the landmark hasn't been cleared. So, we're going to have to go and... Uh, can I not claim it as is? Oh, can I not claim it at all because it's central? Maybe that's why. Because this site, yeah, it's off the center, but this is the center itself being guarded, so I can't grab that one. Um, can I next Foaming Beach for Petra? No. I guess it doesn't count as being adjacent. All right, well then, I'll just grab Clavin Forest. It's going to be okay. Yes, that's true. I might be able to politely ask him to move if they're from one of the uh, factions. Um... So we're going to exploit this one for for industry. Oops, I didn't actually start it going. I thought it would prompt me again. Because I know I hadn't clicked it in. But I guess we just produced energy for a turn. Um, or wait, oh, that's Petra. No, it's actually producing bulwarks. Right, fair enough. Uh, production. That's why it didn't prompt me a second time. Whether it be from the workers or the very god of this planet, it's a universal truth. We can always extract more. All it takes is a heart of unbreakable steel. More, more, more. All right, we got your holy presence. Yeah, nearest anomaly. Friendly unit on a strategic map. That could be really useful if we get a turn to prep for something big. We got some more experience. Um, ooh, I can give you Overwatch. Yeah, that's a high value thing. What is? Oops. What is stubborn? Stagger immunity. I feel like that's way too valuable. Anomalous site. Oh, we've located a structure deep in the earth connected to a maze of vertical shafts. This is odd because the TerraTech logo in the facility indicates it was a terraforming station. Most, re more remarkable, the facility is still powered. We should take time to review the ecological assessment long to, to know how to safely proceed. Reward's going to be some research. We're going to accept that. Now we're on to step two. The facility control center. Oh, in the facility's control center, we encountered the remains of human scientists. Further inside the complex, we uncovered mummified VARs encased in their still upright DVR suits. Uh, computer monitors exposed why there was a VAR presence there. Here, they modified the terraforming instrumentation to force valuable minerals to the surface for easy collection. Clearly, something went terribly wrong at cost in their lives. So, we have some choices. We could complete the agitation program according to VAR and protocols. 100% chance success takes one turn. Or, we could reprogram the facility to fer fertilize the sector instead. 100% chance of success, but takes four turns. So, presumably, this might add um, this might add a new like um, resource in this tile that gives a huge boost to food, if we're willing to take the time. Two is probably a big long-term investment, but I'm kind of like, we're Dvars, right? This will just give us minerals, probably maybe just a bunch of energy that might be it, and a bunch of production. I mean, we're Dvar, we have to hit number one. Just, we have to. Act, agitating geothermal activity in the sector. So it's gonna take one turn for us to find out what the heck that did. Using the 
Prospector is a bit of a scoot here. Scoot and a boot. Done. Oh, it did change because I think it was Tundra. Oh, we did still get a production site. Exposed uh, mineral vein resource node. Grants an extra plus five production, or plus 30 period, an extra plus five of its production resource. Although the tile itself is kind of weak. Interesting. Feel the life around you. All of it is holy. Feel it struggling to cling to the fragile Someone constructs needs to, like, of cut flesh. Back to, like, a pack oh, of day here. Bright in one breath, then gone with the next. Where is it? Gone. It is no more without Estek. No eternal spirit survives. Until now, death was the end. We preserve it. Let us fill you with vitality from lost generations. This is the blessing of the Estek. Shira Nativ, High Lady of Life. Thermodynamics. Explosive attacks now deal thermal damage and have a chance to apply burning. Hmm, a burning sensation. Oh yeah, this is the defensive essence drain thing. And the ability to pop essence uh, barrier to shield yourself up. Let's do that. Let's get another essence tech. Quite On nearly well. every inhabitable Excellent. planet, oceans are engines of so infinite much mechanical energy, rhythmic sources of food, so much and food, endless life, just waiting to be harnessed by someone clever enough to brave their tossing depths. Sammy Sellis, sailor and Star Union seashell salesman. Seashell salesman? Sammy sells seashells by the seashore, or Sammy sells seashells to the Star Union. Mm-hmm. Uh, colony infrastructure is what? Transit, right, so you can move within it. Uh, oh yeah, Cosmite Research Center. We build this in our HQ, we get more Cosmite per turn. Yes, we need that right away. There is a new hero. Oh! And she's riding in one of the vehicles already? Recruited. Yep. She rides around in her own bulwark. Da -da 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 -da. And it's got 10 skill points to spend. Um, now, bulwarks are heavy units. Can we make... Yeah, all heavy units in the hero's army deals 10% additional damage. Let's have her lead an army of heavy units. Boom. Um, hero gains enlightened, and all units that attack the hero have a strength 8 chance of being inflicted with soul burn. Oh, because she's Celestian. She's not Dvar, which is interesting. Access range weapons 15% more accurate and fired from cover. I mean, it feels like we get another um, Siege Master, and then we'll probably get that. Since these things can go into cover, looks like the thing to do. Uh, we can give you attack. No, no, no. We want to keep you with this vehicle. Or no, that's different. That's armor mod. Heals target cyborg or mechanical unit. Oh. And grants plus one thing. Can only be applied to hero units. If we give this to her, I'm assuming these counts as mechanical? Yes. So she can heal our other bulwarks. Heck yeah. Um, her grenades are explosive. Autocannon is not. So the flash payload, I don't know if it's worth it. Does it apply to the grenade? Can only use once per combat. I don't know if that's a worthwhile investment. Uh, probably the confiscator here. So her auto cannons will start draining things. We may as well give her the flechettes as well. So her auto cannons can do bleeding on biological and cyborg units. And it gives her 10% extra damage. Flechettes are ruthless, yeah, I agree. Now let's do that. Um, we're gonna wait for um, one more bulwark to be built, and then we'll probably go over to that anomaly site over there. Oh, uh, Terra deforming. Haha, <laughs> that's how it ended up. The mummies brought shame to their consortium. The VAR agitation protocol is not new tech, but requires patient and skilled application. We corrected the fool's mistakes and activated the operation. Shafts of geothermal energy burned away the impurities in the superheated ground. The sector is a fine volcanic landscape now, strewn with the glittering wealth once buried beyond our reach. The director would, will be delighted at this new fortune then, and that we have brought the VAR honor once again. So the sector has been transformed to a badlands. Exposed mineral veins appeared nearby. Uh, reform, or the um, reward. This site becomes a terraforming outpost. 
and we get a bunch of production. So we have that exposed node over crispy woods. It's very crispy now. So the exposed mineral vein, and then we also have the terraforming outpost over here. Um, visiting units gain two to all resistances for the next combat. And it gives two extra food if it's within the colony's domain. Yeah, we need to colonize over here. I think Thick Beach Body is going to make a colonist. So presumably you, you visited this, so you should have the buff for next combat. I don't know if that shows up in here. But, alright. Let's, um... Oh. I wonder if these guys would move. Yeah, there we go. I'd like to purchase this for some influence. Clear that out. Give us a bunch of energy. And then we've got a mission site over here, and we can clear some area of Rage Grove as well, generally speaking. Um, I can't prospect you. You've got a dude there. It's a little dangerous. We're parked next to a Marauder that could wake up and do something horrible to us. I don't know what could possibly go wrong, right? Okay, and you are leading. I actually don't know how it decides which hero is the leader, but yeah, we do want you to be the leader. And you've got your two bulwarks. You've got one siphoner and one trencher. I don't know if that's going to be good enough for this, but at some point we need to pop this. So we're going to try. Meanwhile, we have a mission to go and attack these guys. Uh, auto combat? Yay! Objective completed. Because uh, we have to end the stream in four minutes. Um, I will... Actually, we're not making much income. I will take the money. We're going to have to improve this. Thick Daddy got another promotion. Nice. Uh, do we make him the infantry commander? I think that is what we're going to do. Harden his training. Plus two resistance can status effects. Oh, all units get that. Because all these count as infantry. He can keep leading the infantry. I think that's what we're going to do. Match play with grenade. No, no thanks. Oh! Nice to meet you there, Chaxu's call. Ah, it's guarded. Done and done. Uh, we're fairly damaged, otherwise I was going to go for Rage Grove. Um, I guess I can go and pop that. And just wait a few turns. Eep! Yeah, that, that battle is lost. There's no, there's no manual that's going to make that work out, unfortunately. Rip Prospector. Oh, Faction Demand. Oh, um, I don't know, I kind of keep wanting to work with these guys. Yeah, I'll give them some Cosmite. But I guess, yeah, I did have something time out. Is that the one I was just about to do? That's the one I was just about to do, wasn't it? All right, this medium anomalous site. Our scanners are detecting a clear signal of unknown origin, seemingly emerging from deep within a glacier. If we burn through the ice, we could locate the signal's origin. Burn through the ice. That'll take three turns. Okay. I guess there's a lot of ice on this planet. Oh no, we did do this one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's pop this supply stash for some food. That's fine. I do want to clear Rage Grove. And actually, I want to clear this. You know what? Let's leave Rage Grove for a bit. We're going to walk over this way because we're going to get healed. Clear this because this would be an ideal annex next for uh, Tomb of Petra. Although it does have to get to size 12 before we can do that. Pirate Peak, actually. We have a mission for. Um, actually, that might be best here. I think the timing will work out nicely. What is this? DNA Vault. Oh! Gain bonus experience in your next combat. Okay. So, Thick Beach Body, yes, you are going to... We need 30 Cosmite for the Colonizer. Is that what they changed? 
to make it so you can't spam the colonization. That may have been it. Okay, we're gonna have to save up some Cosmite here. Um, you got your five. Oh yeah, we run out of money. One more vanilla trencher. We're gonna send you out, and you can annex a sector. Actually, yeah. Um, so this storm. Oops. <gasps> you captured my claim sector. Okay, so I have some CV points against them. The first okay. heritors freely gave their essence as a show of goodwill. Cost goes up to each they one. cured Aha. incurable troubles in a renewable way, sacrificing their own essence to perform miracles. Sadly, faith is not miracles and goodwill alone. The problem with an age of wonders is that while it endures, few cherish it. Age of wonders! Some were dissatisfied to live in a simple, self-sacrificing way. They needed an enemy. They codified heresies and hijacked the heritors' way. The High Lords weren't the originators of Aztec. Yeah, as I say, they title drops. It's like when you're watching a TV thieves. show, and they, they mention the episode title heretic. in their dialogue. Usher does that a lot. Wrath of the Ancients is what? Sustained operation. All pops in target enemy colony. Produce um, curse of the Aztec. Strategic operations. Target enemy army takes lose some damage and have a resistance failure. Maybe electrified fleshettes. We could build an actual naval navy, but I don't know about that. Detection, sensor range, plus one armor. Okay, I'm gonna get some of these armor mods, I think. Uh, we're not fully healed. We'll just move here and then wait one more turn. Then we should be good. So, we haven't met any Devar yet. So, there's a very good chance we won't have anyone that we're going to be terribly friendly with, unfortunately. Alright, you just guard. Petra. Okay, yeah, you're not making any more minions or er, units. That's going to be fine. And you're just waiting over there. Actually, maybe I will move you here. Because what I'm going to do. Uh, is I'm going to pull out the trencher or the drudge and pull him back over here. We're going to do a little swappy do. That is 401. This is time for us to end here. Breakthroughs in gravitic containment and inertial dampening systems intended this. to facilitate increased cosmite production prove to have serendipitous applications good in mass transit systems this. across a variety of terrains, allowing for more efficient transport across colonies with this technology that sounds scary and awesome at the same time. That's Dr. the kind of weapon we want. Chief Researcher, Magtech Inc. Environmental conditioning. Remove hazards with special operations. Colonies with rivers going through their domain get extra food. And that's just an empire-wide upgrade, just automatic. Yeah, here, we'll run that. Operations primed and ready. Oh, um, I can launch you. There you go. Danger Mountain, excellent. Oh, we've excavated a tomb, and we're now... Oh, I gotta, I gotta end this, but oh, let's read this one. Uh, and are now certain of the or origin of the emergency signal. After barging through the secured vault, we are welcomed by the glowing pods of essence feeding into the slumbering people who reside there. Further in, we find evidence that this right signal was activated recently, uh, potentially roused by the activity of the RPR models outside. We stand inside a Heritor Sanctum, one of the many tombs hidden in this forgotten world. So we get some tech reward. As we dive deeper, we find ourselves at the core of the structure. From here, we have command over myriad functions that govern a facility, the most important ones being the Awakening Protocol, which would awake the people and rise the Sanctum. Another option would be to amplify the emergency signal and give the correct coordinates, um, make sure this place is overrun by RPR models roving in the surface. We are a de decisive moment. Oh, okay, so we can awaken the people here. Power the auxiliary facilities which costs us 200 energy or we can amplify the signal so I'm going to amplify the emergency signal and give correct coordinates 
Make sure, and make sure this place is overrun by RPR models roaming the surface. Why would we want this place to be attacked by RPR models? I think we're just gonna awaken our people. This might be auxiliary power. Hmm, talk about that. Power the auxiliary facilities of the awakening protocol. Does this make it better? Oh, if it's in enemy territory, I suppose it might draw things in. Or it's this might be because it's instant. As opposed to one turn. Yeah. So we'll take a turn. That's gonna be fine. We're gonna awaken our people. Bulwark is coming in there. You're gonna park over here and just wait. Orders required. Okay, we're gonna wait there. We're gonna take care of this next time. We are streaming again tomorrow, same time. We start at 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is 7 p.m. in the Ook and 8 p.m. in Central European time, assuming I'm getting that correct, and I believe I am. Uh, so we're gonna stream two to four tomorrow, Friday. And then on Saturday, we're gonna stream from noon to four. So noon would be 5 p.m. Ook time, 6 p.m. Uh, Erp time. Um, and it's all gonna be this. So it's gonna be three days of streaming Age of Wonders Planetfall with the Revelations expansion, showing off the new Heritor uh, secret technology. This is sponsored by Paradox, and uh, I, for one, um, mm, appreciated the uh, the excuse to do it. It's army special place or any partner. It's enemy territory. Oh, thank you, Tom, about different map things and things like that. Yep, uh, this is awesome. I look forward to doing it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.